Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie and I post beauty related content here on YouTube. If they're the videos you love to watch then please hit that subscribe button down below. Today we have a very, very exciting launch. We have a lip launch and I am mega, mega excited to show you these because Revolution, I can't speak, have launched new lipsticks. Look at them. I'm sorry if you can hear a car, it keeps going off in the background. But look at the packaging of them. They are gorgeous. And then just look, they're absolutely stunning. These retail for, oh crap, hold on. They're $5.99, they come in 12 shades and they're called the Lip Allure Soft Satin Lipstick. This is what one looks like that I haven't opened just yet. So there is the shade on the side there, which you'll put, peel off. Oh no, I've done the rest so well and this one I've just done so shit. Okay, it is what it is. There we go, just open it up. And that is what the bullet looks like. Just look at that shade right there. That is stunning, it's got an R on it. And let me just tell you, the formula of these are insane. I have not stopped wearing them since I've got them because Revolution actually have sent them to me because I've done a bit of content for them. So I'm very, very excited to have these. They've got intense pigment. Let me just tell you that, like one swipe of these, you're good to go. So that is just one swipe. If you wanted a more intense one, you could literally just double it up so there we go there's the next that swatch there has more swipes that's what you want to call it <laughs> anywho i have loved these i've even used these as bronzers and blush like these lipsticks stunning and then they've got the revolution sign on the side there so let's get into the lip swatches so the first shade that i want to show you is love and nude this is actually the one that i just swatched for you and let's put this on my lips So these are like a satin formula where they're not matte and they're not too creamy, they're in between. They are gorgeous. The formula, it just glides on like there's no tomorrow. This shade Lover's Nude, Lover Nude, with a brown lip liner is going to look insane. If you're pale, I don't know where that little thing came from. If you're pale, that would be a nice nude on you. But for me, I definitely need a liner with it and not just remnants of the last lipstick I was wearing. So the next shade we have here is Brunch Pink Nude. That's what the shade looks like. Oh, that's really nice. That is a really nice shade. This shade is gorgeous. This is more of a pinky shade, whereas the last one was definitely more of like your neutral brown nude, whereas this one is more of a pinkier nude. Very good for, again, if you wear it on your own, I think you'd be more of a paler skin tone, but for someone like me or a bit darker, you're definitely gonna need a lip liner. But this color is gorgeous. I feel like this would be good with a really deep pink lip liner too. Next shade we have is Queen Pink. And that is the shade right there. There we go, there is it swatched. You know, someone actually commented on one of my shorts saying, I don't understand why people swatch things on the back of their hand, like you can tell, what it's gonna look like on your lips from that. Um, I show that because it might look different on my hand than it does from my lips, and not everyone is my skin tone, but hey ho. You know, you just gotta love the people when people have just gotta be patronizing or obnoxious or just rude or pedantic, like, it's not that deep. It's really nice, the formula is so movable. Movable, movable. Also, I like the edge because the edge means that I can really draw a straight line here and here because one of my lips is more curved on one side than it is on the other, which makes it really annoying when I do lip swatches because it just looks wonky sometimes. So I like evening it up. And if I've got like something that's super sharp and super straight, it means I can even it up better. Whereas if it's curved, this, this side which is more straight doesn't curve well whereas this side that is more curved does straight well that is just such a weird thing to say okay the next shade we have here is chauffeur nude now I feel like this is going to be some favorites because this is like one of their OG formulas it's like one of those lipsticks that MAC used to bring out like velvet teddy where everyone's still using it today this is for revolution is their chauffeur shade and I've got it in other formulas so I'm interested to see if the shade has changed it's gorgeous. This shade was first introduced with me from Soph Does Life Now, 
or is she just Soph at the moment? Soph used to rave about Shofar. I bought it, but not realizing I'm a different skin tone to her, so I couldn't just wear it on my own. And I feel like it on its own, I feel like it was quite lighter than this. Whereas now, I feel like this is a decent shade to wear on its own, but with the original one, I used to wear it on its own, but now looking back at pictures, I should have just worn it with liner sometimes, but I have been wearing combos for years, so I probably did in the end. The next shade we have is Wifey Dusky Pink, and I feel like this is like one of my favorite shades as well. I love that I can tell you which shades I've been loving. This is what it is here, and oh my God, I cannot wait for you to see it on my lips because I feel like it looks even better. I swear, police sirens in this area, you can hear them for a mile. Anywho, like I said, this looks even better on my lips than it does actually on my skin. I love this shade. It's a shade I definitely have reached for a lot. When I want to just grab something, throw it on, and not worry if I'm wearing lip liner or not, this is the shade for me. So if you're my skin tone, this is like the perfect nude pink for you. All right, next we have Berry Boss, guys. Guys, look at that shade. Just look at it, it's stunning. Let's pull it on. There is nothing more I can say about this shade. This is a very me kind of shade. If I get lipstick on my teeth, I'm so sorry. Well, actually, I don't care, but still, it will annoy me. This shade is one of those shades, it's a me everyday kind of shade. It's not too light, it's not too dark, it's more berry, it's more, it's called Berry Boss. Did I say that? Berry Boss, it's perfect. Next shade we have is Material Girl Wine, and if you want a bright pink, this is the shade for you, I'm telling you. Gorgeous. I actually would wear this quite a lot, to be fair. It, it's not one of those shades that if it was in the shop, I would just naturally go towards it and pick it up. But when you pull it on your lips, it's a nice fuchsia kind of pink, but like it's a little bit muted still. So it's not, you'd feel scared to wear it. I feel like this is that kind of pink that will intimidate you at first, but once you wear it, you'll style it out, you'll bang it out. Don't worry, you'll love it because I love it. Next shade we got is Vibe Red. Oh. It's like a classic, classic kind of red shade. This is where my lips start to go crazy because I'm now overlining them. I've had to put on a couple of swatches because that last shade was intense that it stained my lips and I didn't want you not to see the full shade of this. Like the intensity of this, I wanted you guys to see it so I did have to put a few layers on just to get rid of the last shade but do you know what? It's banging. Next shade we have is CEO Brick Red. Now, oh my God, guys, if you're into your brown reds, perfect, perfect, perfect. Forget how much I have butchered this color, like on my lips, forget that. But this is that kind of like autumnal terracotta brick red that everyone is gonna love. It's not as terracotta as I want it to be, but it is that red kind of shade that I would rock. Cause classic reds are not really my thing. These kinds of reds are my thing. The deeper, the better. The next shade we have is Rebel Rust, and oh my God, this is like the perfect pumpkin, autumnal kind of color. Let me just show you. This, perfect. This is that one that you whack out for like the end of September, October, or even November time. This is that shade that is true terracotta, pumpkin kind of spice, spice a kind of color this is i this is one of my favorites too you know this one ceo brick red the dusky pink shade these are some of my favorites we've got two left guys and the last one is an absolute fave i was actually wearing it yesterday so this one is divine brown which is like a deeper brown but not as deep as the other brown that i'm about to show you i don't want to take this one off Gorgeous, see, gorgeous. This is a brown I can wear on its own and not think about put a lip liner with it. This is a perfect, like everyday kind of shade for me. I love this shade. Again, it is one of my favorites. It's not my top favorite. If I had to pick out of like four or five shades, it'd be like my fifth or my fourth. It is one of those shades that I would go for all the time. However, if you know me and you know how much I love my deep lipstick shades, you'll know that this shade, which is called Stiletto Brown, 
is actually my favourite out of all of them. I was wearing it yesterday. If I could be bothered, I'll put a picture of it up here. Um, Edit and Lizzie, can you be bothered? Let's see. <laughs> I'm hoping I've put the picture up because I really feel like this swatch doesn't do it justice. It's one of those shades that make my teeth look so much whiter than they actually are. So guys, this is all the swatches of the 12 new lipsticks. What were they called again? Lip Allure? Yep, Lip Allure Soft Satin Lipsticks. What do you think? Are there shades that you're going to pick up? Again, they have got the most pigment in a lipstick that I've ever had. Like literally one swipe and you're done. They also feel very soft and creamy, but then they give you that slight matte look to your lips. Very affordable because for $5.99 you really can't go wrong. I had to check the price again because I keep feeling like they're gonna be more expensive, but they're not. And to be fair, wasn't it this time last year that they launched their IRL lip creams and lip liners? Now they've launched these lipsticks. Like I love this time of year because my birthday comes up and there's a lip launch. I love a good lip launch. I do recommend these. Let me know down below, are you gonna pick any up? All my opinions are my own. I might have been gifted these, but there is one, one criticism I have of them actually, I felt like, because I've been storing them, but the bag that I'm storing in them is, isn't is big. Um, they are quite bulky, like they're really bulky compared to some other lipsticks and they actually have a little bit of weight to them. I love the frosted glass packaging. However, the lids do fall off quite easily. Like if I pick them out of the bag, some of them come out like this. So some, they're not, I wish there was like a little magnet in there just to make sure that they're secure in place but other than that like I have no criticism of them if you're looking for something matte this isn't the lipstick for you if you're looking for something really creamy this isn't the lipstick for you but if you're looking for the hybrid this is the lipstick for you so it just really depends on your preference and I'm very much like it's hard for me to dislike a lip product unless they're crumbly like liquid lipsticks can get crumbly um but yeah I've been t trying and testing these for a little while now and I honestly do love them. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please smash a huge thumbs up and let me know down below, will you be picking up any? Bye.